I S U P K. Hey, slow, man. This is Priest Kevin the Dome Hall with the I S U P K. On the Command of Journey Island in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Run. Shalom, DC, we're the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge out of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Since 1969, we've been teaching the truth of the Bible. And the truth is that the, black, that the blacks, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Jews according to the Bible, and that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Everything I say comes from the scripture. I do not say anything out of my own volition. Everything I say comes out of the scripture. We've been raised to, 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 to hate our brother. Right. We've been raised to hate our neighbor. And we've been raised to hate the people who oppressed us, who taught us that we were nothing, who, who looked down on us, who still, to this day, continue to look down on us, who kill us in the streets when we beg for justice. Scripture says don't beg for justice. Why? Because we are his people. I'm gonna get, get me Deuteronomy 28.1. Give me, give me Deuteronomy 27 1 and I'm gonna tell you exactly who we are according to the scripture Because everything in the scripture is, a, is about the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans and how we are supposed to rule this earth This whole world we ain't supposed to go hope go hand in hand hold hand in hand with our oppressor We ain't supposed to forgive the people who kept us in captivity, the people who sold us in captivity, we ain't supposed to, to go hand in hand with none of these folks. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse one. As Moses with the elders of Israel. As Moses with the elders of Israel. If anybody know Moses was, Moses was our leader. He grew up as an Egyptian. He, he was raised as an Egyptian. But once he realized, once he found out who his people was, he turned away from the riches of his world and went with his people. He, he is a leading example of who we should be and how we should be. Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, commanded the people. The Christian church teaches us that, that we can do whatever the hell we want, that we don't got to follow rules, regulations, and orders. They only teach us to follow the rules, regulations, and orders of America. When America has been killing us since, since its inception, we've been dying when we follow their rules. God told us to follow his rules and we will live. We follow anybody else's, we die. And you can see that in the streets right now, every day. Go on. Commanded the people saying, keep all the commandments. Keep all the commandments. Now why did he tell us to keep all the commandments? There's a reason why he told us to keep all the commandments. The reason being is because, just like I said earlier, the commandments is the key to life. The words and instructions in this book is the key to life. If we follow anybody else's rules, anybody else's constitution, we will die. Plain and simple. Moses commanded the children of Israel to keep the commandments. He didn't ask, he didn't beg, he didn't plead. He didn't, he didn't, uh, manipulate he told you keep the commandments and the only reason why he told you is because the most High told him rule and order rule and order that's something where we lack in all in our community we lack rule and order we refuse to, to follow someone's order 
Keep going. Which I commanded you this day. And it shall come to pass when you shall pass over Jordan. Drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 28 1. So we see that Moses, who got us out of captivity, who went to Pharaoh and told him, let my people go or else. Pharaoh didn't listen to him and there was a whole lot of or else's until Pharaoh couldn't, couldn't take it anymore. He led us out of captivity. Him, with the, along with the elders of, of our nation, the elders of our nation, nobody else, commanded us to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Every time we kept these laws, statutes, and commandments, we ruled. We were on top. Every time we disobeyed as a nation, we fell, and we fell hard. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And this shall come to pass. And this shall come to pass. That means it is going to happen. If anybody know what, what uh, where Deuteronomy is, the children of the Moses is talking to the children of Israel. We just got out of captivity and we're wandering the, the, the wilderness. As we're wandering, the Most High has given us laws, rules, and instructions. He already gave them to us. With that, he's telling us, he's telling us the rewards of following the our, uh, he's telling us the rewards of the, of the rules that we're supposed to follow and the, the, the risk if we don't follow. Read what you got from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And this shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, if thou shalt hearken diligently, that means if you obey the words of his commandments diligently, Constantly, consecutively, always, if you do this, what will happen? Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That means the Most High is talking here. If you listen to him diligently, with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, with all your wisdom, if you do this, listen to the Most High. To observe and to do all. To observe and to do. That means to actually listen, observe, recognize, hey, this is what I'm supposed to do. The Christian church teaches us that the laws have been done away with a long time ago when Christ died on the cross. That is not true. That's a lie. Ask any pastor to show you that in the scripture. They cannot show you that. It says to observe and, and to do. It didn't say to observe and then if you like it, go ahead and do it. If you don't like it, you ain't got, just pray over it and you're good. Scripture does not say that. Nowhere in the scripture does it say that. It says, it commands you to do, to listen, to observe, and to do. Keep going. All his commandments. Some of them. All his commandments. Just the ones you like. All his commandments. Just the ones that are, that are, that'll get you a reward. All his commandments. You gotta do all his commandments to observe and do. Obey all his commandments. You got to be obedient to what the Most High is telling you. The Most High has has so much for us that is that is unbelievable. We we can't even really fathom because we've been in captivity for so long. We cannot really fathom what the Most High has for us. We cannot fathom this. But the Most High said, if we observe and actually do His commandments, all of them, which like, which I commanded thee this day that the Lord thy God that the Lord thy God so it says if we do what he tells us to do all of it diligently and we 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 teach our kids we we teach our nation to do what exactly is in this Bible the Lord is going to do something the most high is going to do something not our friend not our government the most high will do something what will the most high do will set thee high above all nations he said he's going to set thee high above all nations. Now that sounds like uh, the Most High likes favors one person over another. Right. Favors one people over another. Right. He favored, he has, he has, he is the creator of every nation on his earth. Right. But he favors one people. He said if you do his commandments, he will put you on top. That's right. He will put you over all the nations on earth. He didn't say go in the streets and, and march and beg for, for uh, equality. Right. He didn't say grab a gun and go shoot your oppressor. Right. He didn't say anything, anything like that. He said obey him and he will put you on top. That's right. Of every, keep going, read what it says. 
set thee on high above all nations of the earth. On above all nations, not just some, not just a little, not just a country. All nations on the earth. That does not sound like equality. Right. We running on the streets begging for equality from a people who think we are not, we are three fifths of a human. That is still in the Constitution right now. Right. If they want, if if they so called want nothing but peace and, and and they want nothing but good for you, why can't they change that? Why can't they change that little bit of legislation? Why? Because they still think you of three fifths of a man. Right. They do not see you as human. They see you as the slaves that they brought over, as property, anything they can do to their whim. That's what they think. The Most High says if you follow him, obey his laws, statutes, and commandments, he will what? Set thee high above all nations. He will set you high above all nations. That's right. That are what? Up, sorry. All nations of the earth. He will set you on high that are above all nations on the earth. There is a hierarchy right now, right now, of nations in the world. We're living in the highest, the, the, the top nation of the world. But yet we're at the bottom. The whole world sees it. How can the U.S. be a, a so-called shining light in the world when, when they taking the people into captivity, round up, the natives and put them on reservations and lock up the people who are who are escaped trying to escape oppression and put them lock send them back to their oppression and lock the children up in, in cages. What kind of people do that? What kind of person would would sleep at night doing that? The devil, that's who that's right. It's, it's plain and simple. We are at the bottom. The oppressor is at the top. He's lying to you because he the only way he can stay on top is if we do not break, if we do not obey the most high's laws, hazards, and commandments. Read what you got. Read it from the top one more time. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee high above all nations of the earth. He will set you above high, above all the nations of the earth. Now let me let, let's skip down to verse 15. Let's let's look at the flip side of of not obeying the most high. If, he said, if we obey the most high, this is what's gonna happen. We will be on top and not the bottom. We will rule and not be ruled. It, the scripture also says when the when the wicked are in are in leadership, the the the, the people mourn. I'm paraphrasing. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain. And a lot of sorrow got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit That's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good record Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword